The crisis in eastern Ukraine took center stage at a security conference in Germany today. World leaders are pushing plans for a ceasefire. And as Jacques Rebeau reports, a truce can't come soon enough for the people caught in the middle. Amidst bombed out buildings, daily life in the eastern Ukrainian city of Luhansk is a struggle for survival. Their homes destroyed by fighting, people live in dormitories, eating at public canteens where they get just one meal a day. We can only make 100 litres of milk, says this social worker. It's not enough for everyone. In a bid to end this crisis, there's a big diplomatic push for a ceasefire. Germany hosting a security conference attended by Ukraine's president, along with Russian and U.S. officials. There is a risk of war at the gates of Europe, warned French President François Hollande. The blame for this conflict, argues Ukraine's president, is Russian aggression. And Petro Poroshenko says he has the evidence. I take with me the passport and military ID of Russian soldiers, Russian officers, who were come to us. Ukraine's military is fighting back, today showing off some of its weaponry. But it's pleading for more defensive weapons from the West, a request the U.S. is considering. We have seen that the lack of defense capability trigger offensive operation against Ukraine and spins the escalation. But Russia's foreign minister says arming Ukraine would be a big mistake. Pumping Ukraine full of lethal weapons will only exacerbate the tragedy, says Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, a position shared by German Chancellor Angela Merkel. This conflict will not be solved militarily, says Merkel. There are a lot of weapons in the region already. Merkel and François Hollande are just back from trips to Kiev and Moscow pushing plans for a ceasefire that would include a demilitarized zone and grant some autonomy to the eastern region of Ukraine. Tomorrow, they'll hold a phone call with the leaders of Russia and Ukraine. At stake, the future of the civilians caught in the crossfire of this conflict. Jopper Bo, Global News.